just another brief video. I'm, I'm halfway up this big hill, but look at the view I've got, everyone. Look at the view of the... They're part of the Mendips. You've got some... Leading over to the plantation and hut and wood all over there. And then you've got Banwell Wood there. And then you keep going along and along and then we've got... Look at now, that's um, the big house and then behind it you've got the plateau of Banwell Hill... Iron Age Hill Fort. That beautiful oak on the top, like a crown jewel, and it's just absolutely gorgeous here. I mean, what a place to be. I can see Weston's Hill Fort, the, 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 the eastern end of Weston Hill Fort there, sticking out. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? I'm breathing in and enjoying every minute of it. And then I turn around and then sat right behind me listening to my little talk. Two little lambs. Look at them in the shade. Aren't they gorgeous? Two little lambs. They've got their fur coats on because it can be nippy up here. It's been cold. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, there's a way I normally go that way. I'm going to branch off here or shall I carry on? I might carry on actually since I've done that bit before. I'm going to carry on. I'll turn off again in a minute. I just wanted to just express my great feeling of peace when I look at the beauty around me and uh, like the sheep I'm just going to stand in this shade for a minute and then I'm going to go up through that little path where there's a field look at those little sheepies look at them hello hello little sheepies you're beautiful you really are. See, there's a track coming up there. Oh, it's just so beautiful. You know, I could be sat in my little flat, cosy as it is. I much prefer to be out here. I, I, I can't, I can't be shut away. No. That's why I don't visit people very often. I, unless they've got a garden, I'm sort of stuck. I'm stuck in. I've got to do these walks while well, I've got the strength and the, you know, determination and passion, which I'll always have those two. But I do know one day to come up from down there ain't going to be easy. Um... But meanwhile, when I do all these big walks, I do look for small alternatives that would also find myself in really beautiful places. So there will always be a type of walk that I'll be able to do. Even if it's just walking along Western Seafront on a lovely summer's evening looking out at sea. There's beauty everywhere. This is the, this is the English countryside, everyone. This is beautiful. And I'm just going to zoom into a barn. I, I pass that barn. It's an old little track that I go on sometimes. See that little barn? No, it, it might have been a farmhouse once, but I think it was a barn that's been converted. There's a lane which I follow. I walk there from Banwell. And uh, that's a lovely little walk actually. There's a breeze getting up, so I don't know if you can hear me on the video. The little sheeps have gone. I can't see no cow pack. So I'm now going to go up through this little track here. He said that the his 
his animals were by a gate. Now I do know an alternative way that I did find once was a, up through that way. I did explore and um, did go back away like that. I know that when I do leave St. Leonard's and possibly get, climb the, the peak that it's going to be very, very blowy. Now, I think it was February I, I came over and I walked from Winscombe to the Crook's Peak. I didn't do um, St. Andrew's Church. And it was a lovely winter day. And it was warm, believe it or not. And it was sunny. And there was no wind. That was in February. Our winters are actually getting wilder but they're remaining colder for longer relatively cold not f drastically cold oh, there's a little bone there look a little tiny bit of spine a little bit of spine there so that's why spring and everything's been late but what I noticed yesterday when I went for a walk in Western Woods. A lot of trees were losing their leaves now. It was quite a dramatic loss. And some were dry and brittle and turning brown. It was I was quite alarmed. Then when I got back in town, I noticed a lot of the street trees were also almost bare. They'd only just got their leaves and already they were bare. Nearly. Sarah so said it's climate change, Mum, and it's coming fast. And they're meeting now, the T7 or T9, what they're called, um, are meeting to discuss these urgent requirements that are very, very needed now. I remember autumn came early last year, it was August, but this is only halfway through June. This is only the 11th of June, and things are drying up. We've had some very freaky weather, freaky storms, freaky heat waves, lots and lots of grey cloud, probably from volcanoes that are going off, and they're not telling us. There's all sorts going on. We've got this virus thing let loose on the population. I've managed to come up the hill, by the way, and talk. Very unusual. My lungs feel all right, actually. It's just that I'm older now. My, my actual muscles don't work as quick as they used. We're getting up higher, though. We're getting up higher. More sheepies. I feel like going that way. Lots of sheep. Oh, I can see a signpost. Actually, there's a gate. We could have come the other way, up the other path, but there again, why not explore? Yeah, look. We're already up here. There's a the signpost. The beauty all around me. Beauty. Over now, everyone. Right, I've reached the top of the um, to the gate. Just spoke to the farmer. He's just checking the, everything's right with the sheep. Um, had a long chat with him. He ain't got time to watch any football, he said. Lovely views. And my, my daughter Georgia phoned me. My daughter Georgia. Anyway, look, guess what? I've come out at the exact spot I wanted to come out. And I just noticed a big kind of 
young cattle up there. I don't know if they've escaped, but you... I don't really know. There seems to be a man with them, so... I don't know if anyone's been injured or anything. There's people gathering up there. But what it is, I've come out at the exact spot I wanted to. And look at that lovely view as I come out. I've taken a picture. I followed this track. Now look, it's cow pack. The cows actually come down here. So I need to get ahead of them, really. Yeah, I haven't seen cows loose on this bit for a while. And they look like a young, fit herd. But they are with... Um, people. But anyway, this is, that's perfect, absolutely perfect, you know, what I've just done there. I've just, um, walked up, um, the north side of, uh, Mendip Hills there, and then climbed up a hill, and then I come out at a gate. It's all flowed really well, you know. I came out at a gate and um, right opposite was where I've got to go straight down to St Andrew's Church. People on the top. The weather's not too bad. I'm hoping to have a piece of chocolate in a minute, but then I didn't realise I'd arrived here so quickly. Um, there's a little bird there. I don't know if you'll fly away. See that little bird? He's making a lovely little sort of chuffing. It might be a chuffinch. Or is it a sparrow? He's making a little sweet little chirping noise. Oh, he's gone now. There he is. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. I've still got my jumper on. I'm just being careful. And I'm going to walk down this lovely hill. After I've been to St Andrew's Church and had my picnic, so I'm coming down the hill now, I'm going to climb up the ridge of that up to Crook's Peak. Then I'm going to make my way back to Winscombe, I've decided, to get a later bus. That's plan A. I have yeah, so I've, that was such a straightforward walk. Oh, okay, there was a couple of obstacles, um, some cows, but apart from that, um, and there's a very lively big herd. I've noticed they put some water butts out, so that seems to be what they're doing now, is letting the cows out. So I might have to encounter them again later. That's quite a big herd, actually. I think those people were marshals, actually, allowing the cyclists... There's, a, there's some sort of cycling race going on. I've seen flags up. And, um... People wearing numbers. Sat there. Oh, that's a tree. I always think that's some sort of monument, but it's just a bush. It really sticks out. Yes, yeah, so I'll be going along that ridge later. I'll just do a little bit of photography. The wind will drop as I go down, and it'll become quite warm. It's quite a steep climb up here, so I'm going to climb up the, the slope to Crook's Peak later, not come back up this way. Then I'll be coming along the top there and heading back towards Winscombe, passing um, the church again of St. James the Great, I think. I think it's the Great. So I'm having a lovely day, and I had a lovely chat with my daughter, Georgia. And, um... Yeah, she was telling me she bumped into one of her, her cousins. Um, he's um, 
one of her older cousins that she met. He works at Hinkley Point and he's got a good job out there. And um, Yeah, apparently she sat up talking to him at four o'clock in the morning. They haven't really spoken to each other like that. Um, it's one of those sort of... We're, so we're quite close, but not in our family. It's a weird thing. But um, I'm glad she had a good chat with him, yeah. Just a quiet little walk. I'm going to turn off in a minute, folks, and take some pictures and come back on again. I'm charging up one battery. I've still got another battery. Um, and I've got another memory card, because it's the sort of day where I'm going to use a lot of, going to be a lot of video footage. This is a beautiful place. I love the Mendips. There's different areas of the Mendips, as you know, like over... Cheddar Way, more and more of them end up there. Cheddar Gorge and Longwood. Over and out for now then. Right, I've come back, I've come down off the hills to go to St Andrew's Church. To have my... Oh, there's a path in there. Be another sort of path. Well, that's good. That's interesting. It's another way up. Hmm. Yeah, but I won't be doing that, will I? If I'm anyway, I've come. I'm coming down. I won't be coming back up here because the idea is to go along the slope to Crooks Peak, a gentle climb. But I've just spotted a pathway. People walking along it, going up to the hills. So unless they, they that unless that is their wood and they live in the one of the lovely big houses up there. Yeah, so here we are folks. Enjoying the still spring until the twenty first. And of course on the twenty first they're saying now that we might not be able to have a complete unlocking. Because uh, the one of the viruses that's spreading is um, spreading too quickly, and so they're at, now they've got to hold back with the complete unlocking. Yes, yeah, so there must be a pathway then in there. I'll look out for it for another time. Can't do it all at the same time. Might be handy to know if I thought I was running out of time. I don't think I am. What I've got to remember though, the buses don't run as frequently on a Saturday. So the last bus would be about quarter past five, not quarter past six. I've got to remember that. I've got a feeling that's right for Saturday. I've only just remembered that. So that's an hour already that I can't have, if you see what I mean. These are all the sort of things that pass through your mind that if you're not videoing, you don't talk about them, it just happens. Now it could be that there's a route here. Let's have a look. Yeah. 
there's the route, look, look, those people I've seen were taking. You go up through there, look, and get up, climb up. Hmm. Interesting to remember. Right, over and out for a minute. No sign, but look how subtle that is.